Hello everyone. My name is Harshit Bhutra and you're watching Digital Sun City. On this channel, I make videos related to WordPress and digital marketing. So, if you want to learn more of WordPress and digital marketing, then you can press the subscribe button below. That way, you'll be notified as soon as I publish a new video. So now, let's get started with this video. It is difficult for WordPress beginners to create a contact form without HTML or CSS. Contact form is an important part of any website. So, I have a solution to this problem. Contact form 7 skins provides a complete solution as it provides users to create forms using a drag and drop interface. So let's begin with this video tutorial. To add contact form 7 skins in WordPress all you need to do is, in your WordPress admin dashboard, hover on to plugins and click on add new. Now in the search box, search for contact form 7 skin. From various plugins here, we need to install this plugin, so click on install now. Once done, click on activate here. Now we will move to the contact form window, hover on to contact and click on contact forms. You can see here I've already added a form here, so I will click on the edit button. You can see the contact form settings tabs at the top, but as you scroll down you can see that the skins plugin has been added. Now, we can make the changes to the form using this visual builder here. Instead of coding, we can simply use the drag and drop interface. I will remove the fields as I don't want them to appear like this. Now, first I will select a field set here. This will provide grouping to the elements. You can create or add different field sets to group different elements in different forms. On the right side, you can see various field tags are given over here. You can simply drag and drop the fields of your choice which you want to include in your contact forms. For example, I want to add a name field. For that, I will simply drag the text field from here and drop it to the position as you need like this. Now to edit the name or configure the settings of this field, simply click here on this edit icon and you can give your field a name of your own choice here. In my case, I am entering it as none. Click on done. I also want to include email in my form, so I will drag and drop the email field like this. Again click on the edit button here and edit the name from here. Similarly, you can add fields as per your own requirement. I can also add a date field as well. You can name it as per your choice. You can either make this field required or optional by checking or unchecking this box respectively. Let's add a telephone field as well as it is an important part of a contact form. Following the same procedure, I will edit the name and other details. Now I am also adding a file upload field. Edit the name, make it required, setting up the file size limit. It's all customizable. You can enter the acceptable file types in this format. Click on done. Now to submit a form we need to add the submit field at the end of this form. Once everything is in place and you finish adding the fields into your form, simply click on the save visual button at the bottom. This was all about the form tab, moving to the top you can see other tabs as well. Mail tab is an important tab to configure, so let's click on the mail tab here. You can see an error indicating here, we need to replace the your email tag with email tag. So I will simply copy this email tag from here and replace the your email tag in additional headers. Once done, click on save. You can see short code has been generated on the top. We need to copy this shortcode and paste it into the pages or post wherever you want to display this form. I will insert this form into the pages, so let's hover on to pages and click on add new. You can even add the form to the existing page as well. Now here I will paste the shortcode. Let me give this page a title. Once everything is in place, click on publish. Now, it's time to view our contact form, simply click on the view page. 
You can see the contact form is displayed here and all the fields are grouped as we added them in the field set. Some fields are not displayed with their respective label names as I haven't added any. You can simply add the label name here while creating the form using a visual builder. Let me fill this form to see whether it is working or not. So I have to enter all the fields because we set them to required fields. Once you click on send, you can see a success message here. So this is how easy it is to create a contact form using the contact form 7 drag and drop interface. I hope you like this video. It takes me a lot of efforts to create free videos like these for all of you people. So please consider to subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then you can directly go to our website digitalsuncity.com slash help and then fill in the contact form with your questions. I'll reply to that as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. Hey, before you quit, I have an amazing offer for you. I am giving away free access to all of my digital resources to all of my viewers. These digital resources can be divided in two types. The first thing is layouts. This includes hundreds of templates for Divi, Elementor, Visual Composer and a lot of royalty free graphics which you can use on any website. Now the second thing is premium WordPress video tutorials. In the coming weeks, I am creating video courses for all the major WordPress themes and plugins. This will include video tutorials for WordPress, Divi, Astra, Elementor, Visual Composer and lot more. So as you can see, I've already started working on them. Now, to get all of these premium digital resources, you have to go to my website digitalsuncity.com slash VIP and put in your email address. And then you'll receive an email which will contain all of these things. That's it. So go to the link in the description right now and claim all of these resources instantly. I am waiting for you to get my digital resources for free.